I've served in the military. I lived all around the world. I run a wilderness survival and primitive living school. The Arctic is going to be the toughest location ever, but I will be 100% honest. I don't have a weak skill. If I felt I had something that I don't know that much about, I wouldn't be here. I call it arrogance, but people call it arrogance when they lack confidence. You go first. Biggest thing I'm going to miss will be my family. They really have made me grow as a husband, as a father. They are my life source. The reason why I'm doing this is just last year, I had a massive heart attack. The heart attack I had is known as the Widowmaker. 99% of the time, the spinal chapter. And as a heart attack survivor, you can lay down and die in the corner, or you can stand up and fight for what you want to do and what you believe in. This is my fight. This season will be the hardest amongst them all. It will be cold. Just not temps of zero or 10 degrees. It can get to negative 40, 50, 60, and 70 degrees out here. The colder it gets, animals will decrease their movement. Some will increase their movement. So my journey into exploring the tool selection has been really into that. What's going to help me get food? What thing can I control to bring into this environment to help feed me over the long term? And that's what it's about. These are the items I'm going to be taking with me. First and foremost, I'm going to be bringing a cold weather sleeping bag to help me get through some of those extreme chilly nights. So this will be a key survival item. I don't want to leave home without it. The next survival item that I'm going to bring with me is some fishing line and hooks. There is all sorts of fish species out there, especially in some of these cold, frigid waters, and I want to definitely take advantage of them and uh, keep packing on some of those calories. So the next survival item I'm going to bring with me is a uh, ferro rod. It's going to be paramount to have this to keep my, myself warm as well as assist in drying out my foods and you know, heating my shelter. So without this fire making ability, one could definitely have a difficult time. Next is a solid bush blade. It's going to allow me to do a lot of uh, camp craft as well as processing any large game as well as small game. So a good clean knife, a sharp knife, uh, is an essential survival item. Having the ability to take objects like ridge poles or even beams and lash them together, paracord, will definitely get the job done. My next survival item is going to be a good saw. It's going to help me process wood, keep my fire stoked, keep it rocking and rolling. And you know, if it does get cold enough, this is gonna help me cut through some large animal bone as well. So a uh, saw is essential. My next survival item is gonna be an ax. This is key for processing wood, uh, potentially breaking through some of that frozen ice to get to those fish. This is definitely gonna make a difference in my long-term living out in the Arctic. Another survival item is gonna be a pot. Even though it's cold out here, and the water looks very clean, I still want to take that extra precaution and boil it out. Another survival item is going to be a small bit of rations. My last survival item is going to be a primitive bow with a nice shoot of arrows. This is going to be my food source. These two right here working with this, that's a symbiotic relationship that uh, can't go wrong. These 10 items are going to get me through and ultimately allow me to survive out in the Arctic.